Hey everyone, thanks for catching the replay. Um, Nicole here, I just wanted to show you how, because we're talking about pendulums this week, I wanted to show you a fun trick you can do with your pendulum to check chakras on your kids or friends or whatever. Um, I'm not gonna talk about chakra balancing. I've already done a couple of videos on that. Kim did a video on that. So if you're curious about that, please watch that. Today I'm just demonstrating how you can see what the chakras are doing with your pendulum. So it's pretty cool. And um, it's just a fun thing. Like my kids love this and they think it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. I've got my oldest daughter, Kenzie. She's been our, our victim today. Um, so I just have a pendulum. I honestly don't use the pendulum a lot just because I am more effective in muscle testing. But um, this is just a red jasper pendulum that I have. And the chakras are, the crown chakra of course comes out of the head, third eye right here, throat chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus, sacral, and then root. And so, um, since of course the crown chakra and the root chakra are actually, they go up and down, they're not going out, um, we're gonna just kinda set the rule that it's still gonna show us which direction. So chakra should be going um, in a clockwise direction. So we'll see on Kenzie what, what her chakras are doing and go from there. So we're going to start on her crown chakra and we're just going to do it right above her head. Okay, and we're just going to let the pendulum sit there. Okay, and you can see right away she's got a really nice... Sister Haley, say hi. Sister Haley. <gasps> Um, so you can see she's got a real nice big circle here for her crown chakra. So that shows us that it's spinning well, it's nice and healthy, which is not shocking because Kenzie is my spiritual giant in our house. She's amazing. Okay, next one. Yeah, don't roll your eyes at me. You're amazing. Um, and then my friend Veronica says, congratulations on AM. Oh, thank you. Okay, so now we're going to do third eye. Now you can see I'm just kind of holding the pendulum just like an inch or two above her. Okay, and I'm just saying third eye and this one you can tell it's a little bit having a little bit harder time and it's a little bit smaller circles okay so her third eye is good it's still going in the right direction it's going a little bit slower if you notice and the circles are not quite as big as they were on the crown chakra but it's still good I feel it's pretty balanced okay then we go to the next one we're going to go to her throat chakra and you don't like you don't need to necessarily get in there, but just kind of hover about it. So this one, you're probably gonna be a little bit further. You wanna be enough that you're not gonna hit their chin once it starts spinning. Okay, her throat chakra is nice and good. Nice big circles, nice speed. Looks good. Now we're gonna go over here now to the heart chakra. Okay, we got something interesting, Kenzie. You guys notice anything? It's going in the wrong direction. It's a good speed. It's actually really big circles, but it's going in the it's going in a counterclockwise direction. Pretty cool, huh? So that just tells us that her heart chakra is going in reverse. And Kenzie is one that her chakras tend to get a little jacked up, and she just got home from school, which of course high school is a cesspool, so. Um, we know that's easy to to get messed up there, but we'll and I'll we'll see what we can do with that. Now we're going to check her solar plexus, which is just right um, under the sternum, right before it even gets to the torso. Now, do you notice it's that um, that pendulum is not moving? So her um, solar plexus is probably closed right now. Okay, it's not doing a darn thing. Pretty cool, huh? Next one is her sacral, which is right below her belly button. And see, look, right away, it gets going. So her sacral is doing really, really great. Now we're gonna go down to her root. And again, the root chakra is going straight down, but we're letting having it indicate to us how it's doing. And see, she's nice and grounded. Look how big those circles are, holy cow. 
Your root chakra is nice and open, nice and grounded. Okay? So what we can do, because we had her heart was in reverse, and her, I'm going to flip this around. So stay right there, Kenzie. So her heart was in reverse, and her solar plexus was not, it wasn't even moving, it was closed. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to, I'm over my oil thing, and we're just going to grab some oils that I know are good for those um, spots. Now I'm grabbing bergamot for her solar plexus, because that's the oil of self-acceptance, and the solar plexus is associated with, um, with your self-esteem and how you feel about yourself. And then the heart was reversed, and a good heart one is geranium. So we're going to grab that. So let's go over here. And I'm purposely not showing you my room because it's pretty messy right now because my kids came and dumped all their stuff. Uh, okay, so Kenzie, I'm going to flip this around. Go ahead and put just a little geranium over your heart. My friend Deanna says, how are you so grounded when you're in high school? <laughs> she is. She's a very down-to-earth, old soul kind of person. Okay, so she's got her geranium on. I'm going to have her put some bergamot underneath her shirt on her solar plexus. I'm not, I'm not going to show you your shirt so you can just smile. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to get, what did I do with my pendulum? Mm -hmm. she, Kenzie loves bergamot. Shoot, what did I just? Mom. Oh, here it is. I found, I found it. I found it. Okay. I found it. Okay, so now we're going to check her heart again. Remember, it was going in reverse before. Okay, so we're just going to hold this over. And it was a strong reverse rapport. But look how fast that geranium changed her chakra. Now it's going in, in the right order. It's nice and smooth. Nice big circle. She's good to go. Okay, now let's check her solar plexus, which was not even open before. It was closed. It wasn't even moving. Okay, we got a little movement. And if you look at it, it's kind of more of an oval or an elliptical shape. Then, um, then a circle. Do you guys see that? It's almost a back and forth, but it's a little, it's got a little bit of a curve to it. Okay. So we're, I'm just going to, I'm going to set the intention. I'm just going in. I'm just going to ask her, um, through my mind, I'm just going to ask it to clear and reset and let's see what we can do. Okay. There we go. You see that circle now? Nice, good circle. Let me flip this around. So thank you, Kenzie. So hopefully that shows you something fun and cool you can do with your pendulum to test out your chakras. This is something that's super fun. Like my kids love it. They think it's super cool. My husband thinks I'm crazy. He actually set up like some... <laughs> Like where we had the kids like under a chair and the pendulum was hanging from a piece of wood and it was pretty funny. Um, but it's super visual. It's super fun and it's easy to, to shift those chakras. So have fun. Um, if this isn't your thing, don't do it. Anyway, guys, have a fabulous, fabulous week. Monday, we are going to be talking about generational healing. So I'm super excited to talk about that with you guys. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.